Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. A special thank you to all of my outstanding Patreons for your continued encouragement and support. Patreon members get access to hundreds of high resolution photos, previews of the future material, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons as this helps as well. Thank you. This map indicates the entire Giga Texas property line shown in red and all of the areas of construction around the site, which includes the green area with the foundation, that's the phase one original plan, the six areas of additional construction, and the magenta area. For today, we're fortunate to get some more inside photos, this time of the General Assembly building a little bit farther south than what we showed earlier. And if you remember on my 14 June video, we saw one of the body shells being moved into this uh, structure. Now we see there's at least two of them and a lot of other equipment uh, being uh, brought in. And uh, these body shells again will be used for calibration and testing of the uh, installed equipment. And again, uh, just uh, good uh, fortune that we have these interior shots uh, to take a look at uh, what's going on inside Giga Texas. Moving a little bit farther north into the battery cell area, we see a lot of work on the ground floor continuing. The bottom right hand corner shot, you can see some of the uh, slab is completed about halfway through the building. And the upper left hand corner, you can see a lot of work being done on the ground as well with some excavations and some uh, fill dirt. Then moving over to the casting machine area, we see that it's full speed ahead with the uh, installation of the roof beams, the joining beams, and also the uh, roof double T concrete slab uh, pieces. As you can see, uh, about 30% uh, you know, of the uh, structure roof has been completed in that one area. We also get a closer look at some of the castings. And again, they continue to make more castings. And one of the ideas is that uh, they may be warehousing them for use a little later, so we'll have to keep monitoring. On the west across the highway, we see more work on that road, which looks like it's becoming a four lane divided highway. And as you can see in the bottom right hand corner photo, the road is now extending underneath the south bridge. Down at the south end by the water detention ponds, we see more of the uh, fill dirt activity uh, happening, as you can see in the upper left hand corner. The bottom left hand corner is the drilling rigs and apparatus to uh, route that uh, pipe uh, perhaps underneath the river. And we just see a general overview of the uh, preparations for the road to continue into this area. Moving over to the central area, we see on the top left hand corner photo, the footings on the west side of the body and white building continue to be reinforced. The right hand corner photo, there's still some more water vaults remaining, so I'm not sure what those are for. And the bottom left hand corner photo shows that the main water vaults are completed. They're filling the pit with dirt, and it looks like there's going to be another row of uh, columns put in that uh, area highlighted with the yellow. Moving over to that east parking lot area, we see that big excavation continuing uh, to grow. It looks like they're making preparations to install a bunch of the stormwater corrugated pipes, so we'll continue to monitor this development. And finally, a little bit further east, we take a look at that foundation area. And in the old housing area, we see the uh, communications tower still has not been moved. The second to the right photo, uh, we see that clearing area. It now looks like it may be either contractor trailers or some type of storage. And in the bottom right, uh, we look at that tree. And uh, so far, it looks like that tree is going to remain. So maybe that's Tesla's tree. I hope you found this overview informative and will be helpful throughout the video to put things into context. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas.